Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to speed up any internet connection on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now many people are reporting that even they have the good internet connection but still the internet speed is not good on their laptop or PC. Now there are a few settings that you can change on your device that will be surely helping you to fix the problem. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing that I recommend you that please update your network adapter. You need to look for your windows icon right click on it and from the list of suggestion you have to click on device manager device manager will be up now here you have to look for the network adapters double click on it and then you need to look for the adapter through which you are connected so you will find wi-fi ethernet both wi-fi will be looking similar to like intel wi-fi and the lan will be by the name real tech pci gbe family controller Alright, so you need to update both of them. So right click on it, click on update driver, then click search automatically for drivers. And if there are update available, it will automatically update it. And if not, then you will be getting this kind of message. Alright, same you have to do with the LAN one. And once you are done, you can close it. Next, you have to click on your Windows search, type ncpa.cpl, and then hit on enter key. So this will bring up all kind of your network connections. Now here you have to look for the one through which you are connected. So let's say you are using the Wi-Fi connection. Then you need to make a right click on your Wi-Fi and then click on properties. And here you have to click on configure that is on the right hand top. Another box will be up. From the top menu option you have to click on advanced. And here we have to make some changes that are very important. So make sure that you apply the settings properly all right the first one will be channel width for 2.4 gigahertz you have to make this to auto channel width for 5 gigahertz will be set to auto then we have fat channel intolerant which you need to disable it so from the right hand side in the value section you have to choose it to disabled then you have preferred band now if you're using the 5 gigahertz connection if you have the 5 gigahertz connection available then you can go with prefer 5 gigahertz band all right now next we have roaming aggressiveness that is most important and very important now roaming aggressiveness what exactly this means now if you're connected to your wi-fi and you're very close to your wi-fi router which means that you're getting the good internet connection from it then i would recommend you that you should choose the lowest because the lowest the value will be for the roaming aggressiveness higher internet connection speed you will be getting and if you set the value to highest the speed will be fluctuating and you will be getting low internet connection speed but this totally depend that how close you are to your router so if you are close to your modem or your router then i would prefer that please go to the lowest value or even you can keep this to medium low all right once you are done you have to click on ok and the connection will be disabled for a while and then it will be reconnected now make a right click on the wi-fi again then click on properties and here you will find internet protocol version 4 you need to double click on it and here you will find an option use the following dns server address all right so we will be using a cloud dns server address of either google or cloudflare that will be providing us good and high internet connection speed all right, so both the IP you will find in the description. You can use any of them. I will be using the Cloudflare one. So I will check the second option. And then the preferred, the Cloudflare IP will be 1.1.1. And then the alternate, it will be 1, 0, 0, and 1. Then you have to click on OK. And then click on OK again. So once you are done, you need to restart your PC and restart your modem. And after that, you will find that many issues related to internet connection has been fixed and even all kind of your internet connection speed will be increased. So that's all guys. Hopefully this quick video will surely help you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question. Let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye bye.